Hey, and welcome back. Uh, it is time to do week two finals for AFL. Before we get into that, let's recap week one very quickly. Uh, the qualifying um, games, uh, West Coast Hawthorne. West Coast beat Hawthorne 96 to 64. I said, like I said in previous video, um, well, last week's West Coast, they 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 would they they should win if because a they're at home or b they're just on fire and Hawthorne just wasn't wasn't playing on that day. If 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 anyone watched it, they know they play like absolute crap, but. You know, they should come back for him this week. I hope. In the other qualifying game, Freeman versus the Swans. Frio winning just by 9 points, 69 to 60. It was a much closer game, especially with Swans not having their star forward, Buddy Franklin. They had a, had another big injury in the forwards, I believe. Reed? Is that Reed or Richards? One of them. I don't know. Uh, but one of them did a hemi. So, yeah, that ended up being closer. And I believe that Free A just couldn't couldn't kick goals. The el elimination games, we had Bulldogs versus the Crows. Crows winning, which I was, thank goodness, for. Uh, so they won 109 to 102. It really came down to the last, last two minutes, I think. I believe it was 102 to 103. And then Crows got a goal in the last minute, or the last two minutes, which really sealed it off, and it was just great defense all around. And I think the Bulldogs had a chance before that to kick a goal, but I think they missed, or they turned it over, one of them. I don't know. The last game, the Richmond versus Kangaroos, was a close game. And if you remember what I said in the last video, considering that they choke every year in finals, so yeah, they lost to the Kangaroos 105 to 88. So yeah, that means Bulldogs and Richmond are out of the finals. So that brings my week one predictions to two to two. I went Hawthorne, Frio, Crows, and Richmond. Because Hawthorne lost, Frio won. Crows won, and then Richmond lost. So it's not bad. I went, I went even. So yeah. Moving on to this week's games, we have Hawthorne versus Adelaide at the MCG once again. Hawthorne, they're missing their key forward, my favourite player, Jack Gunston. So without him, I think it's going to be heavily relied on. I guess Roughhead. I guess maybe so yeah it's this one's tough I mean I really want Adelaide to win I want them to kind of go all the way like I said previously uh, due to their, co uh, their coach they've been through a whole lot so it'd be great to see them win but unfortunately I don't really see Hawthorne le losing two in a row especially at finals time so unfortunately for Adelaide I'm gonna have to go Hawthorne again not just because it's like my team or anything, and just because they just won't lose two in a row, pretty much. So that is on Friday night at the MCG again. On Saturday, we have Sydney Swans versus North Melbourne. Again, two teams I do not like versus each other, so I'm going to have to go to the flick of the coin and go no one. Nah, not really. But Swans... So they've lost two key forwards for the rest of the season. Bud Franklin out to to mental illness. Mental illness is uh, not a good thing to have. So all the best to him. Really see North Melbourne. North Melbourne. That is at ANZ Stadium in Sydney for this week. Again, these semi-finals are elimination finals. Uh, lim kind of elimination round. So if you lose, you're out, and you. Uh, the team goes to face Frio or West Coast down in Perth again, which is going to be going to be a good good year for the for the Perth fans out there. Hawthorne and North are 
they should win this week. If not, I don't know. I'm stuck at predicting things. What can I do? As that is week two all wrapped up. Uh, we got Hawthorne taking on Adelaide, and then it's the Swans taking on North. I don't know. It, it's gonna be should be a close close weekend for both games, uh, especially Hawthorne and Adelaide. I don't know. No, I just see North taking over Sydney. If Sydney win, that's good work. Yeah, whatever. I will see you next time for week three. Then that means I got one more week until the finals. Whoa! So, adios.